seat at the table I want a garden to grow Both hands on the hair I want a harvest to sow doing this interview uh i gotta ask you right off the top because since um the last couple of weeks the world has definitely changed and i've been asking everybody who i've been interviewing just how you guys are doing how are you handling this lockdown uh are your families safe what's going on with both of you yeah it seems so far so good you know like probably like most people starting to bounce off the walls quite a bit and try to get as much like exercise as possible, but it proves difficult sometimes, but it's so far so good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing okay. I work from home when I'm home, uh, not on tour. So it's a bit normal for me. I think that's a, that's a little strange just that my inside life is kind of normal, but going outside is, is odd. And it's made a little bit more apocalyptic because I don't know uh, where you live, but in Parkdale, there's all, there's all these little flies everywhere at the moment. So you just see people walking around with masks on, batting at invisible flies. What you guys have done, though, is helping because you got new music out. Congratulations on that. How does it feel having new music out? It's, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it feels it feels great. Like, I, we talked a lot about this, Miranda and I, going up to the uh, – the release of it on Friday, like there are those like muscle instincts of like a record's coming out. It's been in us for years and years now to, you need to play a ton. So there are those like, you know, I got these knee jerk reactions all over the place where it's like, ah, okay, what's happening. And then your brain goes, no, you're going to talk about it. You're not going <laughs> to play. <laughs> you know? So it is, it is surreal in a way, but it feels so good to have this record out that we've worked on for, you know, about a year now. Yeah, I think also there's a bit spooky for both of us because we made this record with a lot of intentionality and then sort of a lot of the themes that we we talked about in the record and the values are exactly kind of what is being talked about now in this pandemic. So it feels that's a little spookily relevant that we weren't really, we didn't think we were going to hit it quite on the nose. Like yeah. this. We're not saying that we tell we can tell the future, but we're also not saying <laughs> But so, here's the thing, what I love about you guys, not just lyrically and what you're talking about, but musically, my goodness, like the music itself, it sounds so perfect. And what's going on today? Um, where did you guys get that sound? And and I'm curious, too, have you guys been picked up, you know, like has your music been picked up on any TV shows and movies? Because I love the sound that you guys have. It's just this like, you know, beat the chest kind of sound. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Um, well, we've both played on lots of different um, films and, and uh, television shows, and but this record has not as of yet, but I agree with you. It's perfect for lots of different kinds of stuff. We Like our sound, we kind of, it's a weird thing where we, it, it happened fairly quickly. Like we've honed it over the last four years of playing a ton live, but the the nucleus of the sound happened pretty instantaneously we got together and this our our styles and our sound are so individually different and when we put them together it just created this this stew that worked really really well together and we found we had this really raw sound that could go from something huge and very like bombastic to something super quiet and gorgeous on the you know on the uh, turn of a dime and it seemed to i don't know seems to work well, yes, Miranda, how did you guys meet, and why do you think it works? Um, we met, well, I think that, that they're sort of intertwined. We met um, in the, you know, Toronto music scene. Um, you know, it's pretty small. I feel a lot of, you know, a lot of us kind of grew up together in a way. Uh, but both of us do a lot of work for theater, and I think there's an element of, of the dramatic in our music, and in both of us, I guess. Um, and I think also the way that, you know, the way that plays are written and, well, good ones anyway, um, you know, you're preparing the audience for what's unfolding in every scene. Yes. And so I think we work really hard to prepare our listeners for no matter, like, whatever's coming, whether it's the chorus is coming or the bridge, but also what the next track's going to be, like our sequencing, um, and just using that dynamic, like Andrew said, of, of being able to go from very, very small to bombastic. 
um, and how to prepare the listener for that. I love the way you said that because my question was going to be too, like how does two people have such a big sound? I always think of it like, uh, like Queen and how the fact Queen had such a massive sound. You guys seem to be able to do the same thing. Um, did, was that something that just sort of grew over the years working together? Well, we were, I guess it's a fortunate situation that we both play a bunch of instruments. So we're able to, you know, fill out, fill out the, the palette as large as we want for what, the, what we think the song dictates. So if one song, like our last song on the record, Rich Looks Cheap to Me, is just fiddle, guitar, and voice. And that seemed to be what that song needed. We tried other things. And then you have another song like Sins We Made, where it's like, for lack of a better word, a bit of a kitchen sink thing. Like, there's lots of different instruments. So it, it I've been, well, we've both been experimenting, but speaking just for myself, that's a thing that I've done um, my whole career. Um, I think it was starting off playing drums and guitar and piano. It just ended up turning into... A situation of what does the song need and probably to Miranda's point it's also working in theater and being able to just write on the fly you kind of want to be able to fit any situation so you learn to think fast and you also learn to put a lot of tools in your tool chest for what a song dictates I hope to God The Walking Dead catches this new album and uses <laughs> some of your tracks because again I think it would be absolutely perfect of course I keep saying an album an album what's the album called and how's the album represent you guys right now? Um, so the album is called to be made. Um, and yeah, I feel as though it's, uh, you know, the, obviously the culmination of four years of touring together, our last record came out four years ago. Um, so again, it's sort of the expression of, of where, where we, where, where we've gotten to. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm so proud of this record. I, I, I cannot tell you. And Andrew, I mean, just and our friendship like it, you know we we have to in order to co-write too you have to have a lot of conversations about why and and leave ego away you know to the side because at the end of the day like andrew said too you got to serve the song so sometimes it might be a good idea but it might not be the right idea and we've had to to really work our way through that and i think that the album is a real testament to um to partnership andrew what's the uh, latest single right now and what's that about and can you also please describe the video, which I think is very cool. Oh, thanks so much. Um, well, the latest single being Seat at the Table um, is a song that was, it came around from conversations that Miranda and I had about the the arts and crafts movement, um, the earlier part of last century. And um, it was about, you know, it's so funny. It's so hard to separate what the song was built on with what, it means today, as Miranda was saying earlier, just how people are like, I mean, my gosh, the amount of people that are doing their own sourdoughs and kombucha recipes right now. Are like, <laughs> <laughs> like, making me, it's, it's great. It's also hilarious, but it's great. Um, but sorry, I'm digressing, but it, 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 it came, it came about um, thinking about, that and really creating this idea of community and building your own community and building the community that you want to represent you and that you want to give uh, to people. Um, and I feel like when we made the song, it started, you know, in the in a very traditional way in how we build songs, but then instrumentally it started to uh, illustrate illustrate itself in cool ways. Like Miranda plays this uh, beautiful saw line that weaves throughout the song. And that to me was a, a, a super cool production note where it was like, oh, let's use things that make things. <laughs> you know, let's use instruments that, that, that can build. I want a seat at the table. I want a seat at the table. And then that just helped reinforce the idea for me um, that then culminated into this video that uh, Miranda had this, well, I, have, yeah, I forget, Miranda, how did we come up with that? Well, we had idea? this great connection because 
my um, Andrew and I have both played my music festival uh, every year. <laughs> that's a little bit of um, <laughs> I mean, just like, we, you know, we're just there. <laughs> just a coincidence. It's just, uh... Um, but uh, but Gravenhurst, you know, means a lot to me because um, I was, you know, went there since I was a, in utero. And um, my great great grandfather had built this opera house on the main street when he was the mayor. Um, and the community around in Gravenhurst is so wonderful. And I've just found a second home there. And they've made both Andrew and I very, very welcome. Um, and in that community, there's um, an organization called Gravenhurst Against Poverty, which takes care of, you know, very much the, the spirit of the song, but takes care of those who um, who require that um, access to fresh food. So we, we did the video um, as a fundraiser for Gravenhurst Against Poverty, and we invited members of the community to join us from all socioeconomic levels. Um, and we had this big meal, which was donated by one of the restaurants in town and um, the community just really came together and donated a table for the, and donated the silverware and all this other stuff just to make it look beautiful. And so we got to shoot it in this, you know, over a hundred year old building with these, this beautiful community together and, uh, have a dinner and do a little performance and bring the community together and raise some money. So yeah, we're really proud of it. And it felt like, felt like really serving the song. It's very cool. And honestly, all your videos are very cool. I want people to, people who are listening to this whole interview on Rudy Blair Entertainment Media, check out your videos because check out their videos because they're so unique, uh, different, and it's almost like a touch of the old days where people really took time and thinking about how to create an artistic video, but at the same time pass along a message too while you're watching it. So I love what you guys are doing. Um, wish I had a chance to see you guys live, but that's not happening for a while. So, um, <laughs> any chance that you guys are doing online performances? We're trying to, we're figuring that out right now. We did this, um, we did this really fun, um, album release interactive listening party on Friday where we were able to talk to friends and family and fans, um, kind of Miranda put it like old MSS or MSN messenger style uh, last Friday. Um, but no, we're, we're still talking about how to do, we won't, when we do it, it'll be super special. So we're trying to figure out the best way to do it right now. Yeah, this we just cool. want to make sure that the songs are served and, and that the, we can get the integrity of what, what Andrew and I have built. And, you know, we worked really hard on that. I want to make it sound like that. And we, we want to make sure that we can deliver that live. I love that. That's really, really important. But the other thing, too, is I want to see what you guys, your houses look like in the inside. That's the other thing I'm enjoying about this is because you actually get this little sneak peek of everybody's insides of the houses. So I'm just like, hey, they got this and they got that. We'll do the same thing with you guys, too, hopefully soon. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully we'll get to do this. But in the meantime, though, social media is the place to go. Where do we go to follow you guys? Where can we pick up the album? And again, how can we just follow along with everything you guys are doing throughout the coronavirus uh, shutdown? And when you guys are back up and we can see you in shows and concerts and jump up and down and enjoy the music live. Well, you can get to everything at www.herofair.ca. We have all our YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff, and we keep everything up to date on that. You can get any album you want, <laughs> just visit that. Fantastic. Andrew Miranda, thank you so much for making time for me. Uh, both of you, be safe. I hope your families are safe, too. And even more importantly, I am looking forward to doing another interview with both of you, but in person. And that's <laughs> going to be a lot of fun to do, too. Both take care, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks right. so much, Rudy. Thank you, Rudy. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.